Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am here with a MAC summer haul video. I haven't shopped at MAC in such a long time and MAC is like, I love that brand but I hate it at the same time because they really go all out on their limited edition products and I just, I don't get why so many. It's like every day they're releasing a new limited edition product and it's frustrating because it sells out so fast especially when it's really good girl you gotta be on that but I did pick up a couple of new items that they released and uh, most of them are part of the permanent line so you know you don't have to rush out to get them because they'll be there always I'm just gonna show you guys the things that I picked up for the summer So I'll start off with the Fix Plus spray. This is an amazing spray. I love it. Um, I have run, I've, I've purchased so many of them, but um, I, I purchased another bottle. This is from the new bottle. Like they did like a frosted finish with it this time, and then they have the white letters. I love this spray to just set my entire makeup. It won't make your makeup. Um, it won't make your makeup <laughs> it won't make it last longer but it will take away that powdery effect and make just everything settle into the skin really nicely um, it does help with pigments and also you can intensify the glow on your cheeks or your highlighted areas so I really like that this product is diverse you can use it in so many ways it's definitely a staple product in my kit as well as like personal use then I went and picked up the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and I got mine in NC45 which I think is too dark for me um, the girl at the counter advised me to get a shade darker because they run a little bit lighter but when I got home and tried it out it is a tad bit dark for me um, I was thinking like you know by this time I'd get a, a nice tan but I still feel like it's a bit too dark on me but um yeah I'm trying to work with it otherwise I'm gonna have to go and get an NC42 which is usually my color and which the one that I wanted to get when I swatched it it did look a little bit light so that's why I went with this one but I feel like this is a tad bit dark on me I'll definitely pick up another shade to review because a lot of you want to see a review on this so it's definitely going so to come I got two come. new lip liners I got the color stripped down and then I also got Whirl right here Whirl is a really really popular one because of Kylie Jenner supposedly this is the one that she always wears on her lips it's like a mauve -y a uh, brown tone color really really pretty all over the lips as like a nude kind of effect and then strip down is more of a cool tone brown I like it just to define the lips and add a nude lipstick onto it so um, yeah I like that it's a cool tone it's really really cool and on my lips it doesn't show up too deep but for fair skin tones this is really great um, color um, as opposed to the world it probably run a little bit darker on you but if you want that nudie effect um, strip down is really really nice but I still wear it just to define the lips so those are the two lip pencils and I like the MAC lip pencils because they last me a really really long time um, and they're really like they stay in place they're really opaque and pigmented they're not too drying on the lips like they won't tug on your lips too too much but um, yeah, I like the formula, I like the staying power and how opaque they are, so love these lip pencils. I picked up two of the Extra Dimension eyeshadows that they recently came out with. I'm not sure if these are permanent or limited edition. I'll try and find out and link it down below, but if you guys know, please inform anyone in the comment section. I don't remember. But I picked up two shades and two of the lighter shades because I like to use these as highlighters. And I picked up the color Sweet Heat. Uh, I'm just going to take that out. Really love the, the way they um, make these eyeshadows. Like the pattern and stuff like that. It's really, really eye-catching and just unique. And the color on this is absolutely gorgeous as a highlight color. 
the way it reflects on the light is so beautiful these eyeshadows are pigmented as heck they're not super super buttery like you're gonna wet, get that sensation where it's like wet um, it's more on the dry side but it's still very blendable this one is more of a light gold color and like I said I love using these as highlights beautiful 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 color and then the second one that I got is a natural flirt which is pretty similar to sweet heat let's just swatch this I think this one is deeper or lighter looks like that again a gorgeous gorgeous you know eye-catching look that they did with these so I'm gonna put sweet talker right okay so okay so this is a natural flirt I find this a little bit more soft and buttery than the other one this has more of a bronze effect to it so this one is more of like a pale yellow this is more of like a pale bronze color again very very pigmented when the light hits it look how beautiful that is it reflects so beautiful it's just a beautiful highlight color I'm actually gonna add that right here to the bridge of my nose a little bit on the tip so you guys can kind of see that look at that it's gorgeous so I picked up four lipstick from their matte collection that came out um, I know a couple of them were already in the line so I already had them I think it was flat out fabulous or a couple of other lipsticks I just didn't pick them up because I already had them but these are the brand new ones that I never had and were not part of the, their permanent collection and now they are so let me show you guys which ones that I got the one called persistence and it is this beautiful brown tone nude color really really beautiful Kylie Jenner effect if you will say um, I love it look at this right there so beautiful it's not as brown as when you look at the actual lipstick in the tube it looks a lot more opaque and very brown but once you place it on it's more of like a very subtle uh, brown with a rosy pink undertone to it so I really really like this on the lips for like an everyday nude kind of color this is really really pretty and then um, and I like these mattes because they're not drying on the lips they're actually like moisturizing but they have that matte look and then the next one is whirl so it it goes with the lip liner they just turned it into a lipstick and there is whirl very similar but I think my lighting is kind of switching it up um, whirl has more pink in it and um, persistence has more of a brown to it world is a lot more deeper in the color and yeah just a bit more of a mauve kind of color rather than persistence is more of a brown tone kind of color yes the excuses that we give because we bought lipstick that look basically the same and then another lipstick that I picked up is Stone. This is another really, really popular one. Everyone has been going crazy over that very um, gray tone nude lipstick look. Um, so Matt came up with Stone. It is a matte color. And I believe first they had a lip pencil, right? They had a lip pencil that was Stone. And now they have the lipstick. And here it is. I actually haven't worn it yet. But I am dying to like do some kind of look with this but it is this beautiful kind of um, kind of like purpley gray brownish color right there again very very pigmented it's matte but not drying and yeah really digging this color and then the last one that I picked up is antique velvet which is what I'm wearing right now can we say absolutely gorgeous this is more of like a winter fall color but this is just so so stunning I can wear this all year round um, it's it's so like vintage looking that's why they got that name antique velvet it's super soft okay it's like a dark rich brown color right here 
beautiful 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 and then they came out with some new blushes um, I actually was watching one of my favorite youtubers I will link her somewhere here she's also from Canada which makes it even more special and um, she talks about these blushes so I went the next day and grabbed me some of these blushes um, two of them are mainly for my kit and then one of them I'm like completely in love with all right let's just let's just let's just show you guys okay so these blushes that they came out with I believe there's six of them I picked up three and um, from the six I think four of the colors or I don't know I think I saw about four colors that were very deep 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 colors amazing for dark skin tones to contour with and um, they actually grabbed a few of their eyeshadows and turned them into blushes basically like this one right here is sketch this is an eyeshadow for mac um but they just put it in a larger pan size and called it a blush um it's actually an eyeshadow that i have used on a set to contour um, um a model um she was very dark skinned and this is the only color that i found so i'm really glad that they took those eyeshadows and turned them into like blushes because these are really going to work and pop on deeper skin tones. So I guess I'll start with this one. So this is Sketch and I got them in a pan form because I like to create palettes rather than have little pots laying around. And this is really deep. Okay. So this is like a deep burgundy color with brown undertone to it. You see that? That that that's deep. That's going to pop on dark skin tones. Trust me, I've used this and the contour really shows up. It really makes the bone structure really chiseled. So check this out. If you have the eyeshadow, try it out. See how it works out on you before grabbing the blush. But really, really beautiful. If you're a makeup artist and you have that struggle to find colors that will show up on deep skin tones, you need these ones. You really do really do okay and then the other um, deeper color that I picked up is called film noir and I don't believe they have an eyeshadow like this maybe they do you can correct me if I'm wrong but it's this one right here this one is more of a warm tone brown as opposed to sketch sketches more on the um, burgundy color but this is even deeper than sketch look at that very buttery very creamy very blendable like stunning and you can always use these as eyeshadows also i mean i know i am because i love to use my makeup with different in different ways okay so you don't have to put yourself in a box girl makeup is supposed to be fun so run with it all right just make sure you blend and you look good afterwards because <laughs> we want to look beat not you know scratched up you know I me. Mean? The next one is the one that I'm wearing right now as a blush and this is called Burnt Pepper. If you love those um, peachy toned blushes, you're going to love this one. This, this is the one that you need. In the pan, it looks nice, but not all that. But once you put it on, girl, I'm so in love with it. So here's Burnt Pepper it's beautiful it's like this like peachy tone with hints of mauvey pink in it it's so beautiful for every day and can i say that this is very pigmented very very pigmented so um i don't know if i went overboard with it because i was loving it so much but i i love this color this is definitely one of the colors that's going to be me every day all day so pretty that is basically it for my haul is that it yes yes that is it okay so yeah that those are the little things that I purchased for the summer and um, I know that Matt comes out with so many collections and it can be so overwhelming so I tend to not buy every single collection because girl it is expensive as always thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel I really do appreciate each and every one of you if you're not a subscriber yet please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become a part of the curls and lipstick family and i will see you guys on the next video ciao